So Anita's got a record a mile long. She's your basic grifter. She's pretty much small time, but she's been running these scams her entire adult life. That's lovely. What about Chelsea? Well, they've been a mother-daughter team since Chelsea was a kid. She has a rap sheet too, but it's not nearly as extensive as Anita's. So how dangerous are they? Well, knowing what you're up against helps. But if they were under my roof, I wouldn't take my eyes off them. So I guess the question is now that we have all of this knowledge, what's the best way to use it? Keep doing what you're doing, divide and conquer. You know what I think? I think that Anita is really starting to annoy Chelsea because Chelsea was on the verge of giving us the baby and then her mother shows up and starts bossing her around you know, you're dealing with some very serious con artists here, and I wouldn't trust anything they say. And if if they do make you promises, I wouldn't believe it until I see it. That's a good point. Oh, <laughs> three guesses who just walked in. Sorry to interrupt, but I need to tell you something before you hear it from anybody else. The only reason Chelsea and I are here in Genoa City is because Victor Newman brought us here. Hey, have a seat. I'd love to hear all the details. Victor won't be too happy you added him. So why'd you do it? What's your angle? Angle? It is what you're best at, isn't it? Well, excuse me? Let's see what I have here. Anita Lawson, AKA Anita Barrett, AKA Amelia Larson, and about a dozen others. Let's see, first arrest, 1978 for passing bad checks, wire fraud, mail fraud, conspiracy, Forgery, <gasps> impersonating a police officer, credit card fraud, felony theft. Should I continue? Ooh, I just Who the hell sure. are you? Oh, nosing around on my business, huh? We're oh, sorry. This is Paul. He's a PI and a longtime friend. Victoria and I, we wanted to know what we were dealing with. So, I have a feeling it goes a lot deeper. So, I will keep digging. Thank you, Paul. I don't imagine you would tell me that you were working for Victor unless you wanted something. Probably money. Money, right? That's what you're after, money. Victor doesn't think that you're good enough for his daughter. But I think you might be just perfect for mine. So what Anita said about my dad bringing you two here, I assume that's true. Yes. I need to know everything. How far back does this go? Did my father give you money to seduce Billy? No. No, that was, that was all me. So you were just scamming tourists and me and Mar and Billy was just lucky enough to be one of them. When did you meet my father? Not until he showed up to bring Billy home. And he made it worth my while to stay in touch. Then when I found out that I was pregnant. Jackpot. <sighs> right. How much did he pay you to cause trouble here? Enough. Obviously. Well, I know my father very well. And he always likes to sweeten the pot. Did he offer you some sort of bonus to break us up too?
It's not like I was actually going to wreck your marriage. You know, I've seen your police record. I know you've been scamming people since you were 10 years old. If you're really sincere about wanting a better life for your baby... I am sincere. But my mother has decided that Billy is the golden ticket. If you can figure out a way to make her go away, please, by all means, do. You know, I might believe you. If you tell me what it is my father enticed you with to try to take my husband away from me. You really can't guess. He told me I could have a chance with Billy. Let me get this straight. Your end game is for me and Chelsea to live happily ever after. <laughs> You're having a kid together. Would that be so terrible? Oh, my. You need to put the cuckoo back in the clock. I've got a newsflash for you. That's never going to happen. Whatever deal you made with Victor, it's a bad deal. I've got no loyalty to Victor. And Chelsea does what her mama tells her to. With the right incentive, I think you'll find that Chelsea will make the decision that you and your wife are hoping she'll make. How's this for incentive? By the time I get home, I want you out. Pack your stuff and leave. If I go, Chelsea goes too. And your son. You want to rethink your strategy. It's Victoria. Hi, sweetheart. Is everything okay? No, everything is not okay. Dad. Yeah, I know. He's at it again. What the hell was that? Why would you spew our biggest secret to the people we were trying to keep it from? It was a smart move, Chelsea. No! No, I want you gone. Today, I mean it. If I leave, then you do too. Because I am not leaving you here with strangers. Oh, stop it. I, I would hardly consider Billy a stranger. You cannot trust these people. Chelsea! They want your baby, but they're rich and powerful, and they will screw you over in a second. You stick with your mama on this. Ding dong! The Abbots aren't home. I know that. I'm here to see you. Dad acts like Billy is some sort of phase that I'm going through. Do you know that, that Chelsea actually thought that she had a chance with Billy because Dad told her to go for it? You know, I have to deal with Chelsea one more time. I just, I want to scream. I want to scream. And that mother of hers, don't even get me started. That mother of hers. What I'm going to say, you're probably not going to like. But I think you ought to move out for a while. What? Mom, after everything that Billy and I have been through, how can you even suggest that? I know what I am suggesting, Victoria, but I am very worried about you, and I think that we should stay clear of those people. Uh, honey, I agree with Nikki. Paul just confirmed what we already know. Chelsea and her mother, well, they're <laughs> bad news. And as much as I would hate it, Moving out until the baby's born is the best way to keep you safe, then I think we should do it. My daughter and I were in the middle of something private. In case Anita hasn't filled you in, I'm a private detective, a private eye. And I have given Billy, Victoria, and Nikki a complete dossier on your very colorful past. And if you're able to get past their defenses and end up hurting my friends, I will see to it that you feel my wrath. And I will see to it also that you're put away for a very, very long time. Thank you for the kind warning. My pleasure. Ladies. You know just how to handle everything, huh? I swear to you, keep this up, and you are going to ruin everything! <sighs> Thank you both for your concern, all right? I know that you're just trying to protect me, and I appreciate that, but I'm not gonna abandon Billy, all right? 
We're husband and wife, and we love each other, and whatever happens, we're just gonna stick together. That's what we do. All right, sweetheart, but promise me you will be careful. And we cannot let our guard down with either of those women. <laughs> those two are amateurs compared to Victor. Come on.